Hey everybody, it's Ron from Pick Dogs, and this is Ron's Big Shop Breakdown. We're going to go over the two Elite Eight games for Sunday, March 26, 2023. Now, if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put your college basketball picks in the comments section below. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at the Premium Picks tab at PickDogs.com. Alrighty, let's get into it. Here are the games for Sunday and College Hoops. First up, let's go to Creighton and San Diego State. It's going to be 2.20 Eastern start time. It's going to be on CBS, and we see the Creighton Blue Jays as a small favorite in this one, laying 1.5 one points. The total is at 133.5. Now, you had two top 15 defenses in terms of adjusted defensive efficiency. Creighton is 11th in defensive rebounding percentage. San Diego State is 67th. You got a San Diego State defense that likes to slow things down, 339th in average possession length defensively. You know, Creighton plays at a pretty fast pace on the defensive end. It's about league average or country average in uh, possession length on offense. And I think that we're going to see overall a more defensive minded game in this one. San Diego State holding Alabama, the number one overall seed, to 64 points. Pretty impressive stuff. We know San Diego State's got a great three point defense. And Creighton relies on that three-point jumper quite a bit with guys like Baylor Shireman, who's been excellent from the perimeter this season. But when you had San Diego State, you know, against Alabama, holding the Crimson Tide, a very good three-point shooting team, to 11%, three of 27 from three. You know, I do think that both teams are going to struggle to shoot the basketball in this one. Two good defenses, and we're going to see the under hit in this one. So give me the under, 133 and a half in Creighton, San Diego State. Next up, let's talk about Miami and Texas. This one's going to be 5 of 5 Eastern. It's going to be on CBS following up that Creighton-San Diego State game. And we're going to see the Longhorns as a four-point favorite, so the largest favorite out of the four Elite Eight games. And we're going to see the total very steep one at 150. Now, it is really tough for me to go against this Texas team, although Miami has been just as impressive in terms of the wins that they have over some you know, upset wins over Indiana and Houston. Texas has just been so strong. They won the Big 12, which we know Kansas won the Big 12 last year. Did pretty well for them in the NCAA tournament. And now Texas, you know, covering against Colgate, beating Penn State and pushing at the, the minus five number, and then covering with ease against Xavier in the Sweet 16. Texas's offense looking real strong, the defense as well. And, you know, this is an experienced Texas team that, you know, thought at the beginning of the season when they lost Chris Beard that it might not be a great season. But this team played really well down the stretch in the Big 12, which I believe the Big 12 is the best conference in college basketball. And I don't even think that's up for debate anymore. You know, Tom Izzo mentioned that the Big 10 he believes is the best league. I don't think he can, can argue that. I mean, the Big 10 has struggled year after year in the NCAA tournament, at least in the last few years, while the Big 12 consistently gets teams in this spot. We see them in the Elite Eight, the Final Four, very often. Usually it's a team like Kansas, but even teams like Baylor and now Texas are having success in the tournament. Uh, Texas, like I said, number six in the country in Division One experience. Miami, a very experienced team themselves, but that defense ranked 104th in adjusted defensive efficiency. Not a very good defensive rebounding team. They don't force a ton of turnovers. Not the best perimeter defense, and they're ranked 240th in two-point field goal percentage defense. You got two strong offenses, but only one strong defense, in my opinion, and that's Texas. So I got a side here with the Longhorns, laying a reasonable number at minus four. And that's it. That's the Elite Eight for Sunday in College Hoops. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And don't forget to put your college basketball picks in the comments section below. Again, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. As always, this is Ron Romanelli. Good luck.